I'm Jay Kaus. I'm CEO and co-founder of Spectrum AI. Spectrum AI was formed to provide secure monitoring tools for high-risk uh, patients and elders. When we were designing Spectrum AI, you have to give it represented data sets. We tried using public data sets and they were not robust enough. The next stage we did is we'll simulate these data sets. So we set up multiple cameras in a room, used experts in the field, simulated aggressive events and falls, but we weren't getting the kind of quality that we were expecting, which brought us to CIRIT. There was an idea to use film production tools, specifically virtual production and motion capture, in order to not only generate, but multiply captured actions. This way, we could capture an actor falling down once, but generate 10, 20, or 100 videos of that same action from numerous vantage points within a virtual environment. We shifted to using the HTC Vive, which is a VR headset that we could use with Unity. And with that, we were able to capture animations and videos very, very quickly. As we started developing the system and we needed to act out two-person animations, we came up with an idea where we recorded me doing animations such as a punch and then placed a model in the scene. That way I could see the model in front of me. So it allowed us to produce two-person animations. We could get actors very close together and very close proximity as if they were really trying to inflict harm on one another when really you're just playing against a virtual version of yourself. During the engagement, what we would do is we set objectives, we would get back data sets. We then test those data sets against our deep learning model until we got exactly what we were looking for. It was very cool to work with Spectrum to determine the ideal fidelity level of the deep learning system. In film, we're so used to the highest quality possible, but with the neural network, it was a balance of making the movements realistic enough that the system would recognize the figures as human while not being too computationally expensive. This led to the biggest discovery of the project. We realized that we didn't need their hair, their clothes, the furniture in the room in the background and we presented this back to Sierra. They came back with a model where something that took an hour now takes one second. It's something that took hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of equipment to set up and run now can be done for a couple of thousands of dollars. Not only did we prove the hypothesis that we could use synthetic character generation, we could actually do it at a cost and a timing that would allow us to meet the objectives. When we started our project, we were at about 60% accuracy. We're now at 97% plus accuracy. And a lot of it has to do with the addition of the synthetic data sets. I like that this project is something that is actually going to be used and is going to help people. Being able to feel that I'm creating something that's meaningful, that someone else outside of our system is going to be using this and will reap the benefits of it. We know that our clients are going to challenge us with new things that they want to measure and monitor. Very much expect that we'll be back at Sirit store to talk about uh, new challenges as we move forward into protecting high-risk patients and elders uh, in the healthcare setting.